Hello everyone, Captain Afri here. Today, after last one misfire, we're gonna test again this TP Think TPMS G1. So, uh, why I have last, last time problem? That's what I have seen. I I have reinstalled application on my mobile, but I do not use my mobile now. I used to do this video. So I have installed a new application on my tablet. I have downloaded APK from uh, internet and installed here. So it looks that it works. So from the beginning, we're gonna start testing again. Like you see, it's 433 megahertz Chrysler uh, sensor. It's old one, so it's poor battery there. So, but it's sweet. So for start, we have started the device, like you see, this device started, so we must start application. So application has starts. We press Europe, I have uh, Grand Cherokee European version. And we go to Jeep. We go to WK, it's v VH in Europe, but 2005 and we have this screen this screen here and that screen here like you see it's small it's apk from uh, mobile device so that way it's the small car so <laughs> but it works it's most important so if you want to change which will now, now like you see it's uh, round circular uh, on this uh, front left so if you want to change you can press that one button or that one button like you see so it's going to change the circle, or you can press here. So today we're going to do this active uh, function. So right, left, okay, we press. So to read sensor, you must press OK button. I have already done one video, so I hope so it's <laughs> that's enough energy on this battery here I don't want to have another misfire <laughs> this new sensor is already installed on my Jeep so like you have seen there is readouts on this device pressure temperature and sensor ID and then we have here sensor ID hex Temperature, battery status, abnormal, like I have mentioned. And this device hasn't read my frequency. Yeah, like you, we have seen it on my last video. Autel hasn't have, no, hasn't have problem with that one. So, Tink Tech, Tink Tech. Try to fix this one. Frequency readings. That is 2005 Jeep Grand Cherokee European version, WH. So we're gonna be glad about that if you gonna fix this problem. So like you've seen, we're gonna test another sensor. Okay, <laughs> someone has used some shit in the wheel, okay, but we see. So we press this button, oh, for example, it's right wheel, okay, so then we press, okay, button here, then, and we wait. If you have new sensors, new battery, it's uh, reading going can be a little bit quicker, but like you see. And again, there is reading, that one, and there is reading for that one. And then you go for the next wheel here, next wheel here, and so on, so on. Like you see, it still doesn't read frequency. So... But it's a good device. 
it's robust and good gummy here yeah then we have another thing we go programming I think so I think we're gonna do on the Jeep next week like you see there is programming and then it's look learning here those functions we're gonna try next time on the next video so I must clean out my IDs on my Jeep I gonna do that uh, during this week and uh, we're gonna try to relearn or reprogram uh, sensor sensors on that one so yeah if you like it like if you doesn't like like <laughs> subscribe and share if you want to support my channel I know I am new here but I need also a little bit help to purchase new devices yeah I cannot manage myself everything so if you like to support me you can support me through this uh, Patreon that you're gonna find this down there on the description and that's it for today so message for Tinkar ThinkTech fix this problem frequency 2005 Jeep Grand Cherokee doesn't work and doesn't have some readouts even on this new one I have tested uh, on the morning new ones that doesn't have folks or readings on frequency so so try to fix this one thank you for today I appreciate so you watch my videos until next time